Alrighty, been here for a few days and I finally, finally, finally found some tall boy cans. I'm so damn excited for tall boy cans. Short boy cans, as you know, just don't do it for me. There's not enough beer to go around. So thankfully, tall boys are back. Beer, 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 beer. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to me, Mike Brewski, from the Rooster Brewski Review. And today, the beer that I have for you guys is by Township 24 out from Chestermere, Alberta. We have their City Limits, City Limits, sorry, Craft Lager. Coming in at 5% alcohols by volume and 8 IBUs and also 4 on the SRM scale. I gotta say though, this is probably one of the coolest logos I've seen or, or, or a can design. It's the breakdown of a malt, a single piece of malt, which is really, really cool. Shows you all the little tech specs of it. We'll go through the, the can design in just a minute, but let's crack this bad boy open. 5% ABV, 8 IBUs. I did have one earlier today because I was thirsty. But hey, fresh start, fresh start for all of us. Pour it up, let's see what we got. Nondescript glass. There you go, that's about half the can right there, I wanna say. And looking at the beer, a nice honey gold, beautifully cleared, light, little bit of a white head on top. Fantastic looking beer, darker than some lagers, but really not by much. Just a nice honey gold to it. Let's dive in. On the nose, ready, caramelly, little wisps of honey, uh, biscuity, like a sweet biscuitiness, and some nice little like grassy, grassy notes, crackery notes in the background as well. Give a little bit of a agitation here, without spilling. Definitely throwing a bit more of that sweet caramel kind of thing. A little bit of corn, not DMS, but just, just a hint of like corniness to it. Pretty good aroma, let's dive in. As for flavor, caramel, light toffee, crackery, a little bit of bitterness to it, a little bit of like a grassy, slight, light, earthy bitterness to it. Not much. A little biscuity, a little crackery, a little bready, uh, white bread, maybe like a sweet egg roll bread kind of thing going on. Pretty damn good so far, but we need a little bit more science. So with that said, cheers everybody. Let's keep on drinking. Yeah, caramel, grassy, crackery, a little sweet biscuity bready white bread a little maybe like a, like a sweet a uh, sweet bread a sweet egg roll bread <clears throat> kind of thing maybe even like a brioche kind of sweetness off of it quite nice indeed good body to it light lower carbonation as far as lagers go definitely far from being a crispy boy but still just enough it's, it's like lightly carbonated as far as lagers go so that might be a little bit of hit on hit or miss hit or miss on some people, but for me it's fine. As far as if I compared this to say like another type of lager, maybe like Muskoka, a Muskoka craft lager, um, you know, some macros like Budweiser or something like that. Who else makes a pretty good just like standard American lager? I'm trying to think. There's not too many out there. Um, well, there's definitely a few out there, but I just can't think of just like a, a regular American lager for some reason. I'm blanking, but definitely a bit more richer of a flavor compared to those other ones. <laughs> Excuse me. So adding a little bit more complexity to it, bit more richer flavors, not really getting any melons or lemon uh, sort of citrusy notes, even, even if they're subtle out of this one. Definitely a bit more on the bakery side of lagers, which, which I actually do really enjoy. But let's see what's going on with this. City Limits Township 24 Craft Lager. Like I said, 5% alcohol by volume, 8 IBUs and 4 on the SRM or color scale. 
And again, I did say we do have a picture or a diagram of a single piece of malt. Malt, which is one of the main ingredients in making beer, malted barley. And it has a little bit of a breakdown, which is really cool. This is ingredient glimpse, honey malt. We're looking at honey malt here. So you have your husk, the outer shell. Um, we have the embryo visible uh, section of the, or sorry, viable section of the grain. Um, we have a source where, where the malt's come from, honey malt sourced from BC, British Columbia. And the malt taste we have here are high on honey, medium on bread crust, higher on toast, low on tart, somewhat high, uh, somewhat low on pretzel, and then a little bit of a graininess on it too. So I'm guessing there's honey milk in here if they're show, showcasing it off here. Pretty damn good stuff. On the back, about. This all barley classic lager is light and crushable, but with a hint of smooth honey sweetness from the specialty malt edition. While it may be low on the bitter, bitterness scale, it still has enough character to satisfy almost any beer drinker. Township Brewing Group Limited. You know what? Gotta say, it's uh, it's definitely a solid, solid description, solid looking can design on here. Uh, ABV, IBU, SRM, no date codes that I can see, but still pretty damn good stuff. Yeah, not 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 too bad. I like the description. Yeah, they're, they're, they're right on the note where It's a beer that any beer drinker can actually come and enjoy, um, whether you're, you know, strictly macro and you're somehow switching over or somebody's forcing you to try uh, craft beer. I would say this is going to be right up your alley. Maybe just a little bit more flavor compared to, say, your your, your, your Buds, your Canadians, your Coconese, your Mooseheads, whatever, what, what have you. Um, but without being too far out there. Um, in, in from from what you from what some people may be used to, so it's a good it's a good little change up, a little, little introduction, but still uh, still you know anybody can really get behind this beer for sure. Over on the website township24.ca, you go to the beer section, and sadly we do not see we do not see city limits on here. We have the core beers: Dominion Kolsch, Meridian Black, uh, Range Twenty Eight, Stolen Canoe. And then you have your seasonal beers, Last Cabin, Left of the Lake, uh, Basilberry, and Long uh, Long Acre, Half, no, no, you, you don't see uh, uh, City Limits, so we're not too sure what happened there, but maybe it's a newer edition, who knows. Over on on tap, though, as I take a nice swig. Uh, city limit lager that's coming in at four, uh, five point four percent. My can sitting at five percent, so maybe a, maybe a little bit of a discrepancy there. <clears throat> Still showing eight IBUs. Gotten a three point eight out of ten. Sorry, three point eight out of five bottle caps. And that's out of only thirty ratings. Somebody says, "Wow, another great beer. Honey malt is some sweetness. Great flavor and color. Would definitely have this again." And you know what? I would too. It's a solid. Solid offering, solid beer in general. That honey malt just does add that extra bit of oomph uh, to to a lager. It's not super super light and airy um, or, or overly crispy. It's just a nice. It's, I don't know. It's something unique. You know, you don't see too many, uh, or at least the, I don't think that that I can think of any craft lagers that really just put in that extra extra little bit of step they all seem to taste more not more or less similar but the flavor profile that they're doing on lagers especially in Ontario is a bit more you know they got a bit of melon little bit bits of citrus notes kind of popping around in there this is kind of bringing bringing someone else in bringing a little bit more what I'm gonna call bakery but I don't think it tastes like a bakery uh, sort of aspect to it pretty darn good stuff so with that said cheers on the final sip let's get ready to drink and I'll wrap this thing up Township 24, City Limits Craft Lager. Solid, solid stuff indeed. I really love the color of it. I like the weight of it. I like the body of it. I like the look. I like the smells. I like the taste of it. Brings everything together quite nicely. That use of honey malt in here. Don't know how much you used in the bill, but damn. Solid amount in my opinion. Not too low, not too high sits beautifully and again is a beer that any beer drinker whether you're strictly macro or one who just loves craft beer and will drink nothing but craft beer 
both can come together, sit down with a few pints of this and really have a damn good time. Overall, City Limits Township 24 gets a solid, gets a solid 8.2 out of 10 for me. As for presentation, can design is fantastic. I really love the breakdown. It's more of a semi breakdown of a, uh, of a piece of malt. I find that quite unique. You have your ABV, IBU, SRM, nice short, sweet description of, on, of the, uh, the beer on the back. No ingredients, no canned on or best before date, so a little bit of a bummer there. But overall, beautiful looking can design. As for the website, website does look fairly basic, but you know, it's, it's pretty straightforward. I kind of wish they had pictures of their beers uh, beside each of the name, um, each of the description of it, but really you're not getting a ton of information, even looking at their core stuff, you're just getting a solid uh, description. You don't get any ABV or IBUs. One thing I actually forgot to check out is their online store. To find pricing on this beer, and for a four pack, of city limits uh, lager, you're looking at $13.50. I guess that's before tax or with tax. I'm not too sure how they do it out here, um, but $13.50 for a four pack of these, not too, too bad. But yeah, presentation, just because you're lacking a bit of information um, on the website, the beer doesn't really show up there unless you go to the store. And even then, very short, sweet description. Presentation gets a solid. It's a solid 7.5 out of 10 for me. Before I leave you guys, if you have any comments, questions, or beers on review in the future, you can leave all of that information down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like this video or subscribe to me, Mate Burski, we greatly appreciate it as well. And with all that said, that's gonna do it for me, Mate Burski. Like I always say, crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers. I don't think any bees were harmed in the making of this beer. I would highly, highly doubt that because honey malt has nothing really to do in regards to being close to honey bees and honey. Just letting you know. Cheers.